and we're gonna show them up. Yeah, like, big things. But basically, you know, um, what's going down with our team? Um, we want to stick with Fractured. Um, right now, we're looking at our options, considering you know the whole free agents and everything. Like, I really want to team with T2. Um, Suds and T2 and bro. straight no. reality check-in. Like, I can you know understand I mean? me getting picked up. Shut up. But, but you seriously, got, like, you gotta look at it from Tom's point of view. Point of view, like, yeah, he no. just got second, and he put his best friends, like a team that they won a championship with, straight ripping, and they they played us for top sixteen, and we were playing really well, and we choked, and then they played Toxic again, but Toxic actually didn't choke because they actually had practice, and it, that's all it came down to was just like practice, you know. A lot of the practice teams did really well this event. And a lot of the last minute teams got upset, and you know, it's just a really random event. But really, like, what we're looking for. And that's all due to. We're looking for dedicated people who don't have excuses, you know. We um, want someone that. We want someone who's not, a, like, a rookie. Like, I love like, my brother because. Sorry to be honest, like, we. Because we're he's not, my tots. I'm not anymore. Well, I'm saying, like, you. you no. Technically, are. But no. Okay. Well, that's how I think of it. This is how. Let me speak my mind. Shut up. I'm not Todd's, dude. Okay, you do the dirty work. That's what I'm okay, going down to. Get, say that. I'm not All right. Todd. So, okay. So we just want people that are dedicated and don't want to use anything as an excuse of why we lost or anything. I just want to go hard and practice and just Tots do is well my boy. this next event. You never know. He might be on reality check soon. And well, I'm just saying. Like you know what I mean. Like we want to look at our options. See what we got here. Um, we want the best possible team. We're not trying we're to find. We're gonna try to be really practiced. We're trying to actually take this team all the way to the finals. So whatever team we actually do pick up, I'm looking to stay together because you know. That's all it's about. I really want to place well. Like I'm not looking to get top 16. I'm looking to go get We've paid. We've beaten good teams. You know? It's just it comes down to like practice and being ready and and we haven't really been in the last couple events and it, it showed. I mean, but I mean we're gonna do our best to to help you guys out and. I hope everyone does, so... I mean, I'm sorry if, like, we don't run games with you. It's because I feel like I, do, I, I really have don't have that time. I already am running with, that I'm already confident with, and it's just, like, I'm trying to decide on that. And, um... Whatever, whoever gives us, some, like, you know, top players, you know, give us a chance, so we'll prove that, uh, you know, we'll actually do big things, so... I mean, step my shit up. I hope you guys saw that um, a positive last event. I actually ended up having like the second most best assists. KD. You know, I played so. really well. I felt like I saved every single game. I just wanted to show you guys. Like, Basically, how. our team is going to be picked by us, um, or we're going to get picked up. Put it that way, um, or the fact that you know we're going to team with people that we're looking to stay together with. Um, you know, um, Zeke. I want to give a shout out to Zeke. He's our He's our boy letting us stay in his hotel Sunday night, you know, so we don't have to drive home tired. And, uh, um, you know, also donating to Fracture to help him get to the event. Um, I want to thank all everyone who donated and really helped out a lot. Yeah, I was really uh, just in shock of, and I really thought it was just like, you know, a miracle just to be able to get that much money from everyone, like all the fans, like just wanted us to do well. It, it would have been a bummer to have to drop Fracture last second. And uh, even though we didn't place our best, I mean, Hopefully it, it goes better in the long run. You know what I mean. So now um, I want to give us uh, answer some questions from the community. I know you guys have been messaging me uh, for a while here, so uh, I'm gonna start it out with. Uh, I felt like Hyber. I felt like Hyber was a really good player. Um, he felt really fit uh, really yeah, well with our like team. Question and then. Answer. But the whole thing that really pissed us off was the whole shadiness. Um, going into the event, you know, not being upfront with us, not telling us the truth and everything, going behind our backs, um, it, it really hurt us. Like, you can't do that and you can't trust your teammates after that. Um, he took Adderall behind our back. He played a lot differently than he did online, which we were not comfortable with. Um, we weren't the same team, basically, so that's why we didn't place as well. Um, the next uh, question here. Let's see here. That's from Frontline. Do you feel like it's possible to get noticed online? I put a lot of effort in time and feel like I could do well in an event. I just don't know anyone. Um, so I end up playing solo. Uh, Frontline, that was from Frontline. Um, basically, what you're going to have to do is you're going to have to somehow, you know, if you match up with someone, prove to them. Don't don't sound don't, like a dick rider. Don't, yeah, just don't do your ask thing, for friend requests. Don't just ask the play. If like, they want to play with you, they'll invite you. 
Go your hardest um, and try hard, and that's what I like. When I when I play, out. With, be the best teammate you can possibly be. At the same time, don't be cocky and don't talk shit. Like people don't like people who talk shit. Just, just show respect. Sh just yeah. make them be like, wow, who is this guy? You know, like, like don't be like everyone else. Be something different. Be yourself. And uh, I think that'll make. That's what helps with a lot of people getting noticed. You know, that's I mean, a good question. Crimzix did. He got out of nowhere because he was just playing really well, and he didn't dick ride anybody. Like you know, I mean, he just basically got options, and he took the best advantage of them. I mean, you anyone could go pro. It's just who wants it more, and who's dedicated to put the time and the hours okay. to actually get noticed. Now, here's another question. I was wondering what it would take to be a coach at Orlando. I think it would be a really good team for me, and I feel like be able to help you guys reach your full potential. Um, that was from Tweak. Um, right now, right now we're looking, we're looking for, for someone the that best, I, I know, the best player who is actually we know is really well. Someone individual. that I know that I can trust, and someone that I know and has played a game, and someone I know I can actually take criticism from because I know they're actually good at the game. Like for instance, all these coaches out there, they're average. You know, they're not as good at the game. Maybe they know a couple, you know, strategies or something. But it really takes a good player to be a good coach. Um, that's one of the things that's probably gonna. We're, we're going to consider it when we actually start looking at coaches. Um, that was a good question, too. Um, so if you're one to coach us, uh, us submit a resume, an email, to help at sudit.net. Um, H-E-L-P at sudit.net. And uh, just let me know what you guys are thinking. Uh, we'll look at all the resumes. We'll answer all of them back. And just basically stand out. That's what I want to see. I want to see someone that stands out, and then we're gonna get, we're gonna talk to you, and uh, we're gonna basically, if you live near Pennsylvania, uh, we'll be definitely glad to have you come over and see what you got. You know, I'd love to have a team close to me local, but I mean, it's it just depends. I mean, it's whatever. It's whatever. I don't know. Whatever we're feeling, it's the most confident team I want to bring to the next event because I put so much like dedication and time into this game and I feel like I get fucked over just like I want to stick together all the time and it's just I don't find the right teammates that want to do that I just feel like people every event do bad or they do good and they think that they can get on a better team when when it comes down to being comfortable and teamwork you know you can't do everything by yourself and I realize that but no let's go to another question um basically you know um yeah, I mean, like we're looking for the dedicated people. Um, we want people who have also played well or placed well. Um, we're honestly we don't have time to go through everyone and try everyone out. So um, if you can stand out, so if, if if you like anything that will stand out will be the first thing that we're gonna say. Oh yeah, remember that kid? Um, he won the big FFA. He won the online local tournament. You know stuff like that. Like you know oh. Yo, look! I was looking at his games last event. He didn't play well, but oh look, um, he's a really he's a good player. He's got the most assists. He he's got hard, the second he most kills. Hard, he wants the he team. calls out all the time. You know, he's dedicated. He wants to go pro. Like that kind of stuff is the stuff that's gonna stand out when you're looking for a team. Not so um, not someone who says, oh, I'm the best sniper in the game. Run games, run games with me, with me or I oh, got, I placed this in this. Like, you know, like that stuff's not gonna. You know, like you gotta prove. You know, um. I want it to be the best. So, yeah. All right. So, one more thing. Uh, Any other questions, um, maybe? In the chat, anyone else? Any comments, questions? Concerns? Oh. Do your parents Oh, oh your one support. big thing. Right. Uh, right now, editing uh, the Warheads montage from Raleigh. It's going to be fun and pretty crazy. Got a lot of good footage about that. Um, also, the MLG Raleigh video I'll be editing soon. Get that out there as soon as I can. And uh, we will have a Warheads booth at MLG Orlando. So get ready for your Warheads swag at Orlando. Doing it big, big things. So be ready for that. Like, thank Warheads for everything they do for us. Um, and hopefully they stick around full time with MLG next year. That way you don't have to just have the suds giving them out. You got the, the hot, cute looking girls, the booth babes. Yeah, that's what we want to see. <laughs> All right, and then um, we have another question. Um, I have no friends who play Reach and trying to get better, make friends with good people. But when I search MLG, I always get bad kids with no mics against TO4s. What can I do to improve? Um, 
honestly, maybe hit up game battles. Try to work your way up on a better game battles team. Um, it's kind of the same situation, you know. There are teams, you know, you they're trying to play. And... It's online, so it's not like you're going to an event, but still if online If you could counts. somehow find some people that are, like, if you get raved by somebody, then they obviously have, like, potential to they're be good. better than you. Or, yeah. you know, they know what they're Now, the one doing. thing, a uh, tip to actually, you know, get better, um, if you're going to by yourself, invite people who actually do well and that you like playing with. There's no point of playing with people who are bad or, you know, um, you know, just doesn't, don't, if you don't like playing by yourself, you know, invite the people on the other team, even though you lost to them, even though they may have if shit on you. you do good and you stand you do out, good, they're going to want to play with you. Yeah, so, so you got to work your way up. Like, for instance, um, you know, uh, I used to go in by myself and I would, I would like, I, I'm not saying I'm bad, but like, I would not have the best teammates, but I would see some guy that would also do just as good as me. I would like playing with them. I would invite them, you know, I would become friends with them. And, you know, so, I mean, it's like one of those kind of situations um, to work your way up to get better at the game and, you know, possibly get better options, so. It's still, it's still going on. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so it looks like we're going to wrap it up here. Um, yeah, big, we're going to wrap up. We're going to go actually really hard here uh, for the next couple events. Um, you know, we're going to try to put a team together in the next 45 days, you know, go hard. Do big things, and then you know, even though we're not going to hold a pro seed, um, we're going to work on it. Um, Just get a better seed for the championships. That way, we get into a good pool. Yeah. So I mean, right now we're looking for a team that's going to get top eight. You know, like, what's the point of going to events to get paid? One thing we're um, looking from online scrimming, we have to win our online scrim. I mean, you're not going to play exactly how you play on land, but it's going to be pretty similar. And that's what I'm looking for in a player. Is and the, same way. and the last thing I want out of a teammate is no excuses. Um, as soon as you got people re giving reasons like, oh, the host was bad. Oh, I can't try right now. Oh, um, You can always learn stuff like after losing. The person that's... that does not have any excuses will actually be the better team at the end of the day. Because you can always You work. learn more from losing than winning. You can always work on anything you put like your mind to. So, I mean, um, so hopefully, you know. We have big things coming out of Reality Check. Uh, sorry about the whole 29th place and everything. We feel really bad, and, um, and we're happens. gonna make we're gonna make it up to you guys, and you know, try to go pro by the end of the season. If not, you know, hold a pro seed by next season. So, um, yeah, but can't wait for the bloom to come out. Definitely for sure. But uh, all right. Uh, thanks everyone again. Uh, we'll have this uploaded as soon as we can. And uh, I know it's a little long. We might cut it into different parts. You know, like part one, MLG yeah. Anaheim, you know, like part two during so, the event. Um, you know, basically, so, basically, uh, we're going to end it out here. We're going to give a shout out to everyone. Thanks for watching the stream. Uh, it's been a blast. You know, we hit it 425 viewers, 100, 450 at the time. Um, and we have 500. So now we have 500. Yeah. So, I mean, if you guys um, missed anything, we'll you guys have missed anything, it we'll have it rebroadcasted up on YouTube Follow and us stuff. On Twitter. Follow us on Twitter, uh, twitter.com. <laughs> slash sudit2 and twitter.com slash sudit1 um, thanks a lot guys uh, really appreciate it thanks all the support um, not gonna let you guys down thanks and let's go to a quick commercial